G'day everyone. This is a dry pile. Many years ago I made a dry pile with about uh, about 100 plates, about uh, 20 millimeters in diameter. This is uh, about 25 millimeters in diameter, so it's not much bigger, but uh, it has 400 plates, and each plate is a, um, a piece of paper coated one side with manganese dioxide, and the other side is a sheet of normal cooking aluminium foil. It gives me about a volt per stage um, at a very high output impedance, which I haven't measured yet. So this is about a 400 volt um, dry pile and uh, yeah pretty interesting it's not quite big enough yet to do um, cool electrostatic experiments with it but I can blink neon bulbs and uh, charge up objects and I can get my electroscope to respond to it for example over here once I let it charge and my body bleed off a little bit so if I hold one end of it and I approach the electroscope see the blue one lights up now if I hold the other end and approach it the amber LED lights up. So there's definitely an electric field around the electroscope uh, being generated by the uh, dry pile. So, more experiments to come. I've got to build a much larger version that has um, maybe 20 or 30,000 plates. It took about five sheets of paper to make this. And uh, I want to scale up the process and optimize it. I've been experimenting with a bunch of different discs. You can see here I've got all different materials that I've tried. Um, I'll put some more details about this up as I get time, but uh, so far zinc and manganese dioxide is, uh, is actually better than, slightly better than aluminium and manganese dioxide, but some of the other things I tried were nickel and, uh, and aluminium and carbon and various other things, but I've well, got to try some zinc chloride doping of the, um, the manganese dioxide and some ammonium chloride and a few other different um, chemistries to see if I can get more than a volt per, per stage. I've uh, built a couple here, as you can see, using uh, these ones are nickel manganese dioxide. They give me about 400 to 600 millivolts per plate. Uh, this one here is a zinc, zinc and um, manganese dioxide. It gives me about a volt. And I've also got, as you can see, sheets over here in various states. These ones were cut with a laser cutter, which chars the edges and I believe causes leakage that uh, ultimately ruins the the uh, the dry pile pretty quickly, or at least reduces its output. More experimentation required. So, uh, with the square dry pile, as you can see here, I cut the plates up just with a uh, just a paper trimmer. Um, not sure if the aluminium at the edges is shorting or not. I tried to lay them in there pretty carefully, but with 400 of them, you uh, tend to get impatient and just chuck them in and hope for the best. But there's definitely a pretty high voltage there, can charge up capacitors that will then spark when you short them out. Doesn't shock me if I put my fingers across the output, but uh, it's such a, a high impedance output that's not surprising, but I'm sure if I charged up a capacitor and tried to short that across my body I'd certainly feel it. Alrighty, work in progress, um, more info later. Bye.